Imagine a world not unlike our own. A planet orbiting the nearest star to the Sun. Nestled in the system of Proxima Centauri, a mere 4.24 light years away. This world, Proxima b, has long fascinated astronomers and dreamers alike. But recent observations have transformed that fascination into something far more profound. The James Webb Space Telescope, a marvel of modern engineering, has turned its powerful gaze toward this distant neighbor, and what it revealed may forever change our understanding of the cosmos. At first, the mission was a standard observational run. Analyze the light from Proxima b, detect atmospheric signatures, and compare them to Earth-like models. But what scientists uncovered was beyond their expectations. The telescope recorded modulated energy patterns, regular, repeated pulses of light that did not align with any natural atmospheric behavior. These signals were too precise, too deliberate to be a coincidence. Further analysis revealed something even more astonishing. Faint but persistent concentrations of chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs, in Proxima b's upper atmosphere. On Earth, CFCs are synthetic compounds. Man-made chemicals used in refrigeration and industrial applications. Their presence in any planet's atmosphere strongly implies technological activity. But what if this was more than technology? What if it was communication? Teams around the world, from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory to observatories in Chile and Australia, scrambled to confirm the findings. And confirm them they did. Proxima B's emissions were not only unnatural, they were patterned. The signals exhibited mathematical sequences, harmonic resonances, and even slight frequency shifts that resembled data encoding. But how could such signals travel across light years of space with clarity? Was it intentional, and if so, what did it mean? One of the theories gaining traction among physicists and astrobiologists is that these signals are a form of long-distance, directed communication possibly even a beacon. Unlike the chaotic energy signatures of stars or the sporadic pulses from pulsars, this was refined, curated. Almost like a transmission. Could it be a warning? A greeting? Or perhaps a broadcast of knowledge meant to be intercepted by other intelligent civilizations? If true, this would mean that we're not only being watched, but perhaps expected to respond. The discovery has sparked fierce debates. Some scientists urge caution, warning against the assumption of intelligent life. Natural phenomena can sometimes mimic intelligence. But others argue that the confluence of anomalies, CFCs, structured emissions, and atmospheric consistency, points unmistakably to a civilization. Adding to the intrigue, infrared imaging of the planet's surface revealed unusual light patterns, localized bright spots appearing and disappearing at regular intervals. These regions, unlike any geological or natural features previously seen, seem to pulse with rhythmic precision. Some researchers speculated they could be artificial megastructures or energy harvesting arrays, massive systems designed to gather solar power or perhaps transmit signals deep into space. More astonishing still, when those infrared pulses were cross-referenced with the energy signatures, the two were synchronized, an almost irrefutable suggestion of intentional design. As news of this discovery broke across scientific circles, the public reaction was electrifying. Headlines declared, Alien Civilization Detected? And, Earth's First Contact Begins? While most researchers remained cautious, the growing mountain of evidence pushed the discussion from, if, to, how. How could a planet around a red dwarf star, one known for frequent and violent flares, host stable, long-term life, let alone an advanced society? The answer, it seems, lies in adaptation. Proxima b, though bombarded by intense radiation from its host star, may possess an unusually strong magnetic field. A feature that would protect its surface from harmful radiation, similar to how Earth's magnetosphere shields us. Alternatively, its inhabitants could dwell beneath the surface, using advanced shielding technologies or subterranean habitats to survive and even thrive. Another possibility is that the civilization developed on a different planet and later migrated to Proxima b, either as refugees or colonizers. If true, this would imply interstellar travel, a technological leap humanity still dreams of. But there's another side to this story, one that speaks not of thriving, but of warning. 
Could the CFCs in the atmosphere be remnants of environmental decay, a sign of a civilization that reached its peak and declined? Or worse, did they destroy their own world, and the signals are merely automated broadcasts from a long-dead society, echoing across time and space in a final plea for recognition? To make matters even more mysterious, analysis of light from Proxima b revealed intermittent blackouts, moments where light emission from the planet dropped to near zero before resuming. These, light eclipses, did not correspond with planetary rotation or orbit. Some speculate they could be signs of massive artificial structures periodically blocking emissions, much like a Dyson sphere partially obscuring its host star. If this is accurate, we could be observing something akin to a planetary-scale engineering project. An advanced species capable of manipulating energy and structure on such a grand scale would be far beyond our own technological level, possibly even post-biological entities, living as data or machine hybrids. And then there's the most chilling theory of all, that we are being invited. That the signal is a form of invitation or challenge, an interstellar handshake from an ancient mind hoping we will one day respond. But how do we respond? Who should answer? Can we trust the intent of something we cannot comprehend? Some groups, like Medi, Messaging Extraterrestrial Intelligence, advocate for replying with carefully crafted messages. Others, including famed physicist Stephen Hawking before his passing, warned against alerting potential predators to our presence. History on Earth shows that encounters between civilizations of unequal power rarely end well for the lesser. Still, the urge to know is strong. Humanity is driven by curiosity, and the revelation of Proxima B's secrets has galvanized a new generation of thinkers, dreamers, and engineers. Private space agencies, academic institutions, and even governments are discussing next steps. A probe, perhaps? Or a new telescope with even greater resolution? Some propose launching a small interstellar sailcraft, using powerful lasers to propel a microchip-sized payload to Proxima b at a fraction of light speed. If successful, such a mission could reach the planet in a few decades, transmitting close-up data back to Earth. In the meantime, we watch. We wait. We listen. The signals continue, pulsing, patient, persistent. Whatever or whoever is out there does not seem to be in a hurry. Perhaps they are immortal. Or maybe time, as we understand it, holds no meaning for them. What is clear is this. Earth is no longer alone in the silence of the stars. For the first time, we are peering into the abyss and seeing something peer back. Whether it is friend, phantom, or warning remains unknown. But the cosmos, once cold and quiet, now hums with potential. And that changes everything. Spaceloop will continue exploring this incredible chapter in our journey through space, peeling back the layers of what may be the greatest mystery of our time. From flickers of light on a distant world to the whispers of an ancient intelligence, the story of Proxima b is just beginning, and so is our next step into the unknown.